Hey guys, so today we do have some phones over here, some cool high-end phones, some of my favorite phones at the moment, some nice phones, also from different uh, from different uh, brands. So we have Huawei here, Nexus 6P, uh, S6 Edge Plus, we have Sony Xperia Z5, and we have the iPhone 6S. So let's start them up all at the same time. Let's check them out a little bit in the UI. And uh, yeah, so can we start them up all at the same time? That's a good question. Uh, let's see, okay, let's go. Oh, oh, I did it, I did it. That's nice, man, that's nice. Usually it's a little bit hard. Ho -ho. Is Samsung gonna win? No, Apple wins, Apple is first. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what the iOS version is, is running, but we're gonna take a look at that. Sony's gonna be last. They always are so slow. Sony is so slow. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, no. No, this one's gonna be first. No. Come on. Yes! I, as I said, Sony, what are they doing? They are really slow. <laughs> They're really slow, man. They are really slow. And I'm just gonna take out or remove all the notifications that we might get that pops up sometimes. So, what are we running here? Well, this one is stock Android, and I'm gonna just put on this one so the brightness doesn't go down, no auto brightness, and doesn't this one have like a sleep mode here? Sleep, auto lock after one minute, I hate that. So, this one is of course running iOS, this one is running stock uh, Nexus experience or the Google experience, uh, how, how they want it to look like. Uh, and uh, this one is having uh, Android 6.0.1. And then we do have Samsung's own TouchWiz. TouchWiz. And it's very, very colorful, TouchWiz. So that's nice. That's, that's really, really nice. I'm just going to close apps here. So, TouchWiz, of course, has way more options here, for example, in the notifications tray. Uh, this one is actually one of my favorite phones at the moment, just because it feels like these edges that are a little bit curved, that it makes the phone stronger than, for example, the Galaxy Note 5. Because I dropped this phone, I think, at least three or four times in the floor, pretty intense, and it has never cracked the display. Uh, I did it once with the Note 5, which has n not these edge, uh, edge curves on the display, and it got cracked very, very fast. I, in fact, I can't even use the phone anymore. And the 5.1.1, I think Samsung's working on 6.0 as well. Uh, so that's probably gonna be out very, very soon. I mean, we have it on the S6 at the moment, on S6 Edge, so it comes with a little bit of an updated UI, which is very, very nice. Uh, then we have Sony. I hate it how they have gone with the stock Nexus experience uh, in the notification area, because what is this creating? Well, it creates so it's a little bit less boring because it's like you want like the full Sony experience in a Sony phone, at least if you ask me. This is not Sony. This is like, this is a stock Nexus. I don't want to stock Nexus if I buy a Sony phone. If I want a uh, stock Nexus phone, then I just buy a Nexus 6P or Nexus 5X. So it's a bit annoying for me personally. I want Sony to find their own cool UI design. I use the Samsung has done. I love TouchWiz. Uh, and I love the different experiences that you can get on each phone. Uh, this one is having... Uh, look at the lag here sometimes. It is insane. The the the, the, the Z5 for some reason has some weird, weird lag issues. Uh, I also did see it when I closed an app. Look at that. I think it even lagged there. Didn't it lag when I was just closing an app? And this one should be like a high-end Sony phone. Yeah, it feels a little bit slow and yeah, yeah. I don't want a slow phone, Sony, especially not if it's a high-end phone. Hopefully Sony will do better this year, but every year since like the Sony Xperia Z uh, first phone, or no, it was the Sony, uh, Sony Xperia S, I think it was called. Man, they used like Snapdragon S4. It was like slower than Samsung and HTC used. It kind of sucked, you know, uh, it kind of sucked. So I really hope they do some interesting work there. Uh, this one is having, oh yeah, official iOS number 2.1 that got released a few days back. Uh, it got a nice uh, speed bump, at least first on the 4S, 
then it got really a little bit slow but then remember on the 4s the older iphone uh yeah it's five years old phone so obviously it's going to be a bit slow uh, i haven't tried it out on the iphone 5 but uh, it's probably nice you have the new smileys and all that and hi what's up what are you doing you were saying what <laughs> okay <laughs> it doesn't understand if you speak in a funny language uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I like the iPhone, but I can't wait to see what Apple's going to do this year because they did a nice update in the UI with like uh, iOS 7 and then they've been kind of a little bit boring in iOS 8 and iOS 9, I find. So I really hope this year, this summer, iOS 10, Apple, please do something interesting. Please don't just remove the headphone jack, which I've seen that they might be doing in the next iPhone. Uh, so please do something interesting, Apple. It starts to get a little bit boring. Yes, I know we got some new uh, emojis. We got some new um, these uh, what are they called? They, yeah, they're called emojis. Yeah, we got new those. We got a, like a new champagne emoji. Yeah, that's really cool. But please, can you do something more interesting? Like really? And yes, they did a thing in the brightness. I don't think it's running on iOS 9.2.1 though. This thing where you can change the luminous or like the if you want the, your iPhone to be yellow and stuff. F flux or something jabbering tweak that you can have that in iOS 9.3 it's coming and uh, yeah that's cool and all but please Apple do something more fun and also Sony please do something cool uh, I kind of like how Google went a little bit better this year uh, with the Nexus 6P it's a nice step up from the Nexus 6 which has had a confusing weird design and this one has a nice fingerprint sensor this one is really nice actually and I, how they were thinking small details here, for example, good grip on the power button. It's a nice phone if you want to stock Nexus experience here. They probably should make this one in a smaller variant as well. Because uh, this one is maybe a little bit bigger for everyone. I would like to see a Nexus 6P Lite phone. So yeah, just my quick little things here to say. Uh, Sony needs to do some work. Apple needs to become a little bit more interesting, I find. Even though if you use or hardcore into Apple stuff, it, it works good if you have an Apple phone, Apple computer, and all that, but um, yeah, but I think really Samsung is doing well now lately, they've been crushing it, they are making, uh, crunching out new cool stuff all the time, we're getting new Galaxy A5 and Galaxy A3 2016 editions here in February, they're already out, but uh, I'm probably going to buy them in February, so that's going to be awesome, and then we have the S7 which looks like it's going to be insanely awesome. So Samsung is crushing it at the moment. Sony, please do something cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but have an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed and uh, peace.